it's a hearty meal with colorful ingredients and it's tempting to eat. I, I'm making this. Now the thing is when I bought this fresh, this was very soft and now you see this is very hard. So I googled, I couldn't find any answer like how to you know soften this up because before when I used to put this in the water what happened with this is it breaks up and this easily breaks up this is hofun uh, this is called chaofun so this is basically made of rice noodle and it is very oily so this is hard this is all hard and dried up if this was fresh this would have been very soft so what I'm gonna do right now I cannot even see separate this out I'm gonna I'm gonna sprinkle some water and microwave and I'm gonna cover this with the wet towel here some water sprinkle a little bit so this doesn't get dried up and I have this wet towel uh, cover this up and I'm gonna set this in the microwave for a minute from two minutes after two minutes let's see okay this has softened up I like it oh it has softened up I'm surprised it did it did I just have to slowly I have to separate this out okay, let me, so slowly I'm gonna untangle and this is oily the ready-made whole phone or ready-made rice noodle is very oily For my whole food, I'm using shrimp, add some little bit salt, black pepper, some garlic, Shaoxing wine, a little bit, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce mm, oil just a little bit cornstarch now I'm gonna mix and give a tight massage so let this sit for some time and we'll start the cooking process so for my hofun I have onion, green pepper, red pepper for color, shrimp for sure and the start of the whole food is this bean sprout yes this is the start of the whole food if this is not in the rice noodle your rice noodle is incomplete so let's begin let's turn on the heat start cooking so we're gonna fry this first Three tablespoon of oil for my shrimp because 
most of the oil comes from the rice noodle. It has turned into beautiful golden color. I really like it. The color is so bright and shrimp is turning a beautiful golden or I can say rose color. So my shrimp are cooked. Let me take it out. Now I'm gonna fry some egg. Just a little bit of this. And then I have onions. First, I'm gonna saute all my vegetables. I really want my vegetables to be crunchy, not soggy, so. Just a little bit of soy sauce. I'm gonna take it out too. Because remember, I am trying to make my vegetable crispy and not soggy. So, I'll take it out. Now, the main things come. The noodle. See the noodle. No. It already has too much of oil here. So that's why I'm not adding any oil. Oops. Let it be here for some while. See. If you are buying this from outside or even um, from outside, it has a lot of oil. So my hands are oil, oil, oil. It's very oily, so my hands is oily right now. Uh, I'm gonna use this spatula because I don't want to break my noodle. I want to flip this upside down.
This is another way of cooking whole food. Initially, I used to do like I fry this, and on top of it, I just add the noodles and I add most of the stuff like soy sauce, light soy sauce, salt, pepper. This time, I'm trying to get all this individually so my noodles don't break. If this style works good for me, I'm gonna keep on using this style. Okay. I'm starting to add oyster sauce. Soya sauce. Dark clear My shrimp, I have already then comes egg. Some pepper. Veggies. And start of the dish. I'm adding this at the end because I want this to be crispy. And we are done. I'll just turn off the heat and I'm gonna toss. Uh, the aroma is so flavorful. I feel like to like eat it right now. I didn't add any salt because my veggies already have some salt. And then the oyster sauce, it already contains some salt. So this is my final dish. And I'm so happy that this time my, this rice noodle did not break. Uh, let me take a bite and see. Very nice, very delicious. If you have time, try to make my style and I bet you it's gonna be the best homemade top food. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.